Interactive Investor has launched a pension builder plan and has set out investment pathways to help you make the most of your pension. So let's go and take a look at Interactive Investor's self-invested pension plan in more detail. In a recent video, we looked at the changes that Interactive Investor has made to its flat fee service plans, and they've made them not only better value, but also introduced a pension builder plan. And this product is a highly competitive and good value SIP product on the market. If you are interested in opening an account with Interactive Investor, then go and check out the links in the description below. I've also put in links to other related content as well. When it comes to pensions, many people just do not understand them, but Interactive Investor provides simple and invaluable guides to help people navigate this pension minefield. And these guides include investment ideas, retirement options, contributions and tax relief. And you can find links to these guides on their platform. So now let's start looking at the investment ideas. If you do choose to open a SIP, then it's your responsibility to choose the investments within that portfolio. And with Interactive Investor, they provide you with investment ideas. Their investment ideas provide you with inspiration for your SIP investments. And these include expert investment ideas, most popular SIP investments, and SIP investment best practice. So if you do open a SIP, you will need to choose your own investment. And for new beginner investors, this can seem quite daunting, but it need not be. There are many easy investment choices to be made, including one-stop shops. So you could choose just one fund, set up a free regular monthly investment, and then just let your pension fund grow. And Interactive Investor understands this and has created expert ideas for your self-invested pension plan. And this makes it easy with you being able to choose from the following the Super 60, the ACE 40 investment list, quick start funds and model portfolios. And we're going to look at these in a little bit more detail now. For beginners and even experienced investors who want an easy investment choice, the quick start funds is a popular option. These provide a choice of funds with different risk ratings. And in general, the younger you are, the more likely you are to go for a higher risk rating. And then as you approach retirement, you're more likely to de-risk your portfolio and go for lower exposure to equities. With a quick start fund, you can choose from one of the three Vanguard Life Strategy Funds, and these are really popular funds. These are passive investments with an ongoing charge of 0.22%. Or there are three actively managed sustainable funds called BMO, and being actively managed, these do have a higher ongoing charge of 0.35%. It's useful to note that the Vanguard Life Strategy 80 and Life Strategy 60 are typically within the top 10 most popular funds purchased with Interactive Investor. So for example, I like really easy investment choices and low maintenance portfolio, so I opted for the Life Strategy 60 within my portfolio. And this provides me with instant exposure to a low cost, globally diversified portfolio and the rebalancing is done for me automatically. An alternative to the life strategy range if you want your portfolio to automatically de-risk as you approach retirement is the Vanguard Target Retirement Funds and you can choose the appropriate fund to your target retirement date. These target retirement funds have a slightly higher ongoing charge of 0.24%. As I mentioned, the Vanguard Life Strategy 60 and 80% equity do regularly feature on the Interactive Investor's most popular funds. And I've also done other videos on the most popular funds purchased with Interactive Investor, and I have linked those in the description below. And that may help provide you with some inspiration for your portfolio. Now we look at what other type of SIP investments are popular with Interactive Investor customers. Whilst most Interactive Investor customers choose funds for their self-invested pension plan, investment trusts account for nearly 23%, shares nearly 19% and 8.2% of customers with Interactive Investor choose ETFs within their SIP portfolio. And the most popular shares, funds, investment trusts and ETFs held by Interactive Investor SIP customers are listed here and this data is true of February 2022. Now of course this is not a recommendation for your portfolio and you need to choose your own investments that align to your own investment goals, attitude to risk and your investment horizon. So looking at the top five shares purchased with Interactive Investor customers for their self-invested pension plan, and they are Lloyds Banking Group, Shell, BP, GlaxoSmithKline, and Vodafone. And for the top five funds, there's the highly popular fund Smith Equity, which is usually at the number one spot, the Vanguard Life Strategy 80 and 60% equity, 
and two of the highly popular Bailey Gifford funds, the Bailey Gifford American and Bailey Gifford Positive Change. And the top five investment trusts and ETFs are also listed here. And Scottish Mortgage has been very popular for quite a long time at the moment, with Alliance Trust in second place. Looking at the ETFs, we've got Physical Gold, which is number one spot at the moment, and a lot of people are investing in gold at the moment due to economic uncertainty. We've also got people investing in the FTSE 100, the S&P 500, Clean Energy and the FTSE 250. Now, more confident and experienced investors may want to choose their investments from the Super 60 list. The Super 60 list helps narrow down the choice of investments from literally thousands of investment options. And this is divided into three main groups. So you've got the II Super 60 equities, the fixed income and alternatives bracket. And alternatives include property, specialist and mixed asset. And for those wanting to invest ethically, the ACE 40 is the UK's first rated list of ethical investments. And Interactive Investor has selected what they consider to be the top 40 best in class ethical investment funds, investment trusts and ETFs. Then there's the model portfolio options which offer a choice of five between active growth, active income, low cost growth, so there you're looking at using index tracker funds to keep your investment fees really low, low cost income, again using ETFs and low cost tracker funds, and ethical growth. Choosing your investments for your self-invested pension plan is just one part of pension planning, but then how to use your self-invested pension plan to draw an income in the future is another part of the puzzle. And Interactive Investor offers guidance with their investment pathways to help you decide how to draw your pension income. And Interactive Investor offers four simple low-cost options for investing your drawdown funds for when you want to start taking an income from your pension. But do seek professional financial advice before deciding how to draw an income from your pension. So these investment pathways align to four common goals that people have when moving funds into drawdown. So when you move your funds into drawdown or transfer drawdown funds into your interactive investor SIP, you'll be asked how you want to invest it in the future. And if you don't want to choose your own investments for when you enter the drawdown phase, you can choose which one of the four pathways best meets your circumstances. And each pathway is designed to meet one of four common goals that people have when using drawdown to access all or part of their pension. So you simply select one of these objectives that most suits your circumstances and then it suggests an investment option. So for example, if you have no plans to touch your money for the next five years, it suggests the Vanguard Life Strategy 60 and it shows you what the ongoing charge for that fund is as well. And different investment options are suggested for each of these four objectives along with their associated ongoing charge. We'll close off now with some SIP best practice tips from Interactive Investor. And these include paying as much as you can and the more you can pay in the younger you are, the better chance your portfolio has for growth. And do take advantage of the free regular investing within your SIP. Secondly, take full advantage of tax relief options. So the more money you pay into your pension products, so long as you stay within your annual allowance, you will get tax relief on that money, meaning that you pay less in income tax. Thirdly, increase your contributions in line with earnings. And this is a good idea. And each time you get a pay rise or a bonus, make sure that you do increase your contributions without it affecting your take home pay. And lastly, build a diverse portfolio and SIPs give you the opportunity to invest in a wider set of stocks and shares than traditional pensions. So investing is really not difficult at all. And there's lots of simple investment choices and simple decisions to make when you come to do drawdown from your pension. If you do want to open an account with Interactive Investor, then do check out those links below as well as links to other videos. Well, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, thanks for watching.